For me, I wanted my children to go to school and in Congo there was no hope for them to go to school because of war. Life was really very hard. We almost slept outside and they were killing people. It was, it was so bad. Being a single parent um, of four kids, it has been really hard. I've been trying to like work on trying to get a house for many years, and it was just so um, it was just so hard. And I thought it was just impossible. I've been battling cancer for five years. We went into the homeless shelter, and my husband then lost his job again. It was just to the point where <laughs> we couldn't do anything. We've been into a lot of addresses. We've been to that first apartment, then we moved to the low income, then we been, went back to the same apartment, and we saw how they're all the same thing. So we wanted something to give us the freedom to be us. Boise doesn't have hardly any housing available on the market for less, less than uh, $200,000. For the city to be sustainable as a place where people want to come and live, you need housing options. Thank goodness there's people like Leap Charity and Bart who, who, who we can fit in little components to help out those people who are otherwise lost in the process. Leap has a, a really tremendous reputation um, for, for doing things for, for people who need help. If we boil it down just to one word, that word would be dignity. We don't say, well, those families are poor and so they, they can access adequate housing. It's, it's okay, it's not great, they should be thankful for it. That's not, what, that's not the aim that we have as an organization. We want um, to, to provide housing that folks are proud of. Um, that we can be proud of and that the community can be proud of. We're all human beings um, and we're all deserving of the same level of dignity. The first project was Welcome Housing. Welcome Housing provides a temporary housing for folks who are coming through refugee resettlement. We have been hearing about New York, Texas, those big, big cities, but I, didn't, I have never heard about Boise and we had to go and Google it. It was like, oh my God, what kind of place is this one? I told my children, I said, you know what? If God has chosen that place, it means it's our place of blessing. It has been more than what I was expecting. In one year, I achieved so much that I am even wondering how it happened. That whole program, as it, as it succeeded despite lots of obstacles and barriers, then gave us the courage then to, to launch the next program. So we said, let's tackle the home ownership challenge. The Yes You Can program is focused on helping folks overcome barriers uh, in order to achieve home ownership. I felt like I wasn't, I wasn't getting anywhere, you know, getting older and not being able to, to get a house for me and my children. So the Yes You Can team, uh, Terry and Nate, um, were super very, they were very helpful and I truly appreciate that 100%. We, after all the suffering from the apartments, we talked to a couple of friends. Uh, one of my dad friends uh, recommended Nate and, his, and the company to help us he, lived, he gave us the, the opportunity to meet a good place to give us a loan and a good loan where we could have a good house with the four bedrooms that fits all the family members. That gave us the confidence to say, hey, how do we preserve uh, existing affordable housing? So Leap Rock is um, a program that's an affiliate of Rock USA. Rock stands for Resident Owned Communities. So we work with residents of manufactured housing communities and we help them facilitate the purchase of the land um, underneath their homes. Once the closing happens, there's a party and it's my favorite part. It's called the We Own It Party. It's put on by the re what were, were just residents of the community, now owners of the community. Then that gave us the confidence to say, hey, let's, let's challenge, let's, let's, let's try to develop new affordable housing. 
So we moved into the LEAP development program. So LEAP development is new affordable housing into the market, so new opportunities. We decided that we wanted to buy a piece of property and at, at some point um, help with affordable housing. What we need and what we've needed for a long time is, is affordable housing, but we also we also need to be a model, and that's what this was supposed to be for other developers. Honestly, I didn't know quite what to expect at first. Like, I thought we'd be coming in and it'd be stacked up on each other and really close-knit together and, like, no yards, no nothing. But when I got here, there's yards, there's grass, there's a rock yard and, like, tons of flowers everywhere. It's really pretty to look at. It screams, oh look, you have a nice house. <laughs> it's about anybody leaving a legacy of leaving this world in a better place. Bart truly believes that a handful of people can help change the world. Bart Cochran and his staff at Lee have already started to change the world, especially here in Boise. The only way that we're going to make a dent in the overall need of affordable housing is if we all participate in it. We're not going to be able to do this by ourselves. It's going to take um, folks in the community partnering with us. Through the Welcome House, we met Pastor Jenny. And from the time we met her, our lives have changed completely. We never thought that we could have a house. We didn't know, know, know the process, what it takes to get to it. And thankfully, because of Nate and this, the camp program, we did all of it. We got through all of it, we got it all done, we got our house, and it was all good. Without Wendy Court, I wouldn't be where I am right now. I was at a place where I would be homeless at that point and the homeless shelters are hard. You know, having a leap here, it's given me the opportunity not to move out of state, not to be homeless, and have hope that I'm gonna be in the right place. It has definitely been a blessing.